What's going on guys? We are back with another live reaction of Balkano, this time heading into episode 9. So, well, let's get this started. Alright, here we go. Got a phone ringing. I gotta turn this up a little bit. Uh. Has there been any reason given for the switch? Nothing official. Nebula is being very tight-lipped with the situation, but there isn't any question there was a very serious incident. As for the whole picture, that still remains unclear. Apparently, yeah, definitely remains unclear. If I remember correctly, wasn't Rachel aboard the flying pussyfoot? Yes, sir. Well, let's wait until she's given us a full report. What she say? She talk to anyone? What other things does she know? It appears that our young lady has arrived. That one chick, the guy, or the the guy, the chick that uh, it's good to have you back. start climbing under the train and whatnot. Because there's been nothing but bad news coming out regarding the flying pussyfoot. As president of the Daily Days, I am honored to have employees like you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. So you hitch another free ride, Rachel? Mm -hmm. you certainly did. Is that a problem for you? Dang. Nicholas, judging by Rachel's injured condition, I should think you would have the common sense to know this is no time for jokes. Please excuse me, I'm not very funny. Now then, Rachel, normally I would give someone in your position time to recuperate before debriefing them. But we are in the business of information. Who the heck is the guy behind that stack of books? <laughs> The Russo family. In the white suits, the Russo family. Okay. Yes. That much we know. Well, sir, I don't know if I can say that all of the stories are true. But there was a monster there, riding aboard the flying pussyfoot. I saw it. A brutal crimson monster. And you screamed. Claire Stanfield faithfully carries out the mission. Wow. Would you look at this? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Lad Russo. Why is there so much blood? Should we call it strange? Or is it inspiring better? What kind of thing can make such a beautiful mess? Wait, hold on a second. Could it be? Is this gentleman here without a face? The guy we call Doom? Oh, jeez. You know what this means? Our pal is telling us that we are now the hunted. Come on, Doom. Tell us who did this to you right now. How are we to avenge our friend if he can't talk, much less find his own face? <laughs> Oh, Dune, you poor, poor, faceless bastard. Your brothers are even denied the simple act of vengeance. So now, back to oh, question. the conductors. Thing is, everyone who hears this story dies. So I'm sorry to have to break it to you like this, kid. There is no way to be spared. Spared. What? Whoa! There is one way to be spared. You just have to kill it. Before it kills you. Now hold on. Wait a minute. It's too late. What? Yeah, I guess it's only fair that I finish, huh? The best way to keep the real tracer from showing up is to believe the story when someone tells it to you. But if it's already here, your only hope is to keep running until the morning sun rises. But it's too late for you. The rail tracer is certain now to show up for all the people of this train. The sacrifice was sure to awaken it. It's time for you to die. Damn! Right in the face! What's going on? Who are you? Hey, 
Hey, would you hold on just a second, buddy? I ain't doing nothing to nobody, got it? There were only two conductors who were scheduled to be aboard this train tonight. So who's gonna uh. make you? Okay, maybe you can put that thing down and we can talk this out. Why are you so relaxed when I got a gun pointed in your face? Who the hell are you? What are you really after? That was quick. The secret's out already. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You don't seem to be the type who will talk after the usual encouragements. I can see this will take something more. Hold on, pal. You mean torture? You never get reliable information. I should know. He's gonna throw you out. It was nice of you to drop your gun and even things up like that. But I'm afraid I just can't return a favor. He can shoot you in the back any moment, dude. Oh! The rail trace. I'll try one more time. Tell me who you are. No way. That's too bad. Is that jacuzzi? Wait, I don't know because. Ooh. I'm going to ask you again. Who are you? What are you doing on this train? Oh, my God. I cannot wait to be the genius responsible for this masterpiece. I hope that someone incredibly handsome and just a little bit fat and absolutely safe don't ever be killed. What the heck? What? 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 Oh, my God, lad. What are you doing? Wait, no, that's not Jacuzzi. I don't know. The shadow on the right side of his face looked like he looked like... Actually, it does look like Jacuzzi. I don't... Who, is that Jacuzzi? But it doesn't... He doesn't have the tattoo there, so it can't be him. And the voice is diff- what? What is going on? My mind is going in so many places at once right now. He gonna put your head down. Or is that Dallas? Like, because he disappeared. I'm so confused right now. What is going on? So go hide, okay? Dang! Dang! Look at all this gore! Lua, my precious angel. Now don't you forget, I'm the one who's gonna kill you when all of this is over, Dollface. Oh my god. Wait! No going back. I have become the rail tracer. You have become the rail tracer. What is like it looks like jacuzzi, but then it would make sense if Dallas, like, since he disappeared from for like a year, he's gone. Interesting. Did this monster speak to you? Because if Dallas disappeared. Your ticket, please. <laughs> so that's what. Hold on. I'll just keep listening. Too many speculations right now. That conductor was 
was Vino. Who? But how can you be so sure this monster was Vino? Vino. Part of what makes Vino such a feared and elusive monster is the fact that he'll appear at one city and then not long after show up in another random city far away. And then in its another Boston. How does he manage to cover so much ground? If he were a conductor on a transcontinental express, it would be possible. It would huh. certainly explain why he's so elusive. Mm -hmm. Likewise, it would explain why he's been spotted in cities across the country. It's Vino. I think I may have heard of him. Vino, also known as Claire Stanfield. Wait. Wait, Claire, also known as Claire's Vino, also known as Claire Stanfield. The Gandorf. These guys are lunatics. All the bodies are gone too. What the heck? So this is actually a different character we're being introduced then. It's it's not like someone on the train. Someone named Vino. This okay. This is when everybody went on the train. Own sense of justice. But still, what reason could he possibly have for killing a child? What child was this? It was a young boy, I guess about ten years Chess law? I see. Perhaps one day you'll be able to ask that question of the boy himself. But didn't Vlad Russo shoot him in the face, though? Although, Chess law is immortal. Nineteen thirty. Oh, the years. There's Ennis. Oh, when she. Did she make them immortal? The putting the serum in them, or what? Some important questions that I would expect you to answer honestly. 
Then I will kill you. Oh, huh. then, then I will kill you. Take your best shot. What the hell are you going to? All the bones and everything else is going inside them. Jeez. Now we have this music. Done. Done. <laughs> Dallas Genoa, right? So, that's Dallas. Right? I'm s My mind in this anime just explodes. So they, yeah, she did inject them with the immortal serum, the Grand Panacea or something like that, whatever it's called. You know what, but isn't her name right there, in the purple hair, isn't her name Claire as well? I don't know what's going on. Because I say that Vino is also known as Claire Stanfield, but... And kill everybody on the train. Please don't even consider asking us to kill you instead of your daughter. For reasons I'm sure you can understand, that would be far too much bother. The same rules will apply should the police be stupid enough to try to block the track or derail the train. We will be forced to kill your daughter. Not that there's much comfort to be had by this, but I thought you should know. I will shoot her myself. Man, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to pay attention so hard right now. I'm trying to understand everything that's going on. Hey, in more ways than you will know. Oh. That's lucky for you. How am I supposed to know if that box over there is really yours? Sorry, pal. You're gonna have to wait till luck comes back. Uh oh. I got you. And they did. They did. Now they're gonna go get the elixir. But wait, they're immortal though. They're immortal, dude. <laughs> that kind of hurt. <laughs> Ooh, right in the face. We're actually immortal. It's freaking unbelievable. 
Oh, here's the chess law. Oh, oh and ladders. Jeez. <laughs> okay, here it is. All those people in the dining car. Would you please kill them for me, sir? What's that? What? what? Do you even know what you're saying? Oh. Oh. Okay. So, the rail tracer is there. And there's a guy called Vino who goes under the name of the Rail Tracer. His name is also Claire Stanfield. And... Oh! Let's just get into the review. Okay, so this episode was pretty confusing. The fact that there was actually three conductors on the train originally, and then one of them was actually the Rail Tracer, and his name was Vino, which also goes by the name of Claire Steadfield, and... Uh, in the live reaction, I said that, you know, isn't that girl with the purple hair, uh, Claire as well? I thought her name was Claire in, um, the intro, but it's all, it's actually Chan, I think her name is, Chan, Chain, something like that, but, uh, yeah, so actually they are not the same person, I don't know why I thought that, <laughs> uh, they had the same name, but, you know, if it's anything that I've learned throughout this episode, it was that the fact that, you know, Vino is the rail tracer. Then there is Rachel, who is a character who we really didn't get any screen time at all with, I mean, there was a little bit of it when, especially with the fact when she was climbing underneath the, uh, train to try to get from wherever she was heading or whatever, but apparently, I guess in 1932, I really really it's just really aggravating the years that jump between times because you know I, I mean I'm not saying that this anime is bad or anything this anime is actually really really good in terms of story but the fact is that these years just jump and jump and it's really hard for me to you know stay um up with the story on like what exactly is going on because there's just so many things happening in these different years and whatnot that it's like really hard for me to pay attention to it but i am trying my best but anyway uh we learned about rachel and basically i guess she had she has some association with that guy behind the big desk of books right there whoever is that guy because i mean we haven't even been introduced to him yet but uh um yeah apparently she got injured and i guess this 1932 was the year after the effect of everybody going on to the flying pussyfoot um so 1931 should be there but then again her injury seems kind of recent i guess so i don't know as i said before i'm getting confused but in the next episode we're gonna find out why exactly probably Cheslaw wants to kill everybody on the train because that's even strange as well Cheslaw became immortal oh and Daleks also became immortal in this episode too and there's also the fact that Cheslaw wants Lad Russo to kill everybody in the dining cart so yeah there's that but yeah still confused but i'm still very entertained on what bakuno has offered me so far and i really just want to see more because i really just want to know what happens next in this story so actually i can get it figured out but uh yeah that about does it for the video guys if you like the video please give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you thought about the live reaction and if you want to stay up to date to my future content hit the red subscribe button below and you will never miss a video from me that about does it for the video guys and i'll catch you in the next one catch you guys next time